Good evening. Welcome back to Los Angeles, California, the World Aquatics Men's Water Polo World Cup. John Abdu, Greg Meskel here with you. We have a gold medal match on the way, but first breaking news following an appeal after the bronze medal match. At the conclusion of this gold medal game, we will replay the final four minutes and 24 seconds of the fourth quarter of Hungary and Team USA. So that is to follow. But first up, the gold medal showdown, a rematch from Budapest a year ago. It'll be Spain and Italy. And John, commotion here, poolside. Yeah. But to focus on the task at hand here, this should be an epic battle between two rivals. The bronze medal match replay aside, you're looking at two of the best teams in the world, arguably the two best teams in the world, competing for a title here at USC. Italy and Spain have done everything right the last few years, including that backhand right there. And a beautiful start. That's Italy in the blue caps, moving right to left, going against Spain in the white caps. And they get it inside to the big man, Bruni. And he doesn't miss from there, and it's a 1-0 start for the Italians. Yeah, plenty of goals for us in this tournament today. 19 seconds. You win the sprint, you get the ball to your center, <laughs> center scores back in. That's all it takes. But both these teams have done everything right the last few years, competing at a high level. It's a replay. The World Championship gold medal game. 2022 World Champions are is Spain right, coming back now. So we're seeing so much talent in the water. And these two teams have done the best job of anyone in the world of putting themselves in this position. Yeah, Spain, the gold medalist, Italy, the silver. Here's a look now. Peroni, the veteran, hitting it from the outside. And we're even at one. And what a treat. Feel really. Lucky here, fortunate, Greg, to be sitting here in front row to watch guys like Dennis Varga and now Felipe Perone play this game of water polo at a high level. Watch this cross pass, catch and shoot. You'd think he'd cross, catch it, shoot near side. See that little hesitation, puts it cross cage. Beautiful play to start this game. It does what the team needs. We've seen him be more of a facilitator earlier this weekend, but coming out firing here, seeing an opening and tying this game at one. Right back to it, and a save made. Agatti turns that away as David Martin looks on. Marco Delungo in the cage, the captain for the Italians, and their head man, Alessandro Campagna. And a power play. And here's a look. Easy money. Just that fast, Spain has returned fire with two straight. Granados. And it was De Toro working inside for Spain to draw the exclusion. He draws it, thinks he's going to get it right back. Instead, it goes across to Granados, who just puts it away. We talked about his athleticism. Doesn't matter if it's a good pass, a bad pass. Great length, great athleticism, great sense for the game as he continues to grow and develop and gets his first one on the board tonight. Power play goal. And a 2-1 lead. This place is still buzzing after <laughs> that bronze medal match had ended. A lot of fans started to head for the exits. They heard the announcement, and now they have come running back in. And now a power play here for Italy. A chance to draw level. First power play for Italy, and they won't score this time. The defense there for Spain. That's DeSoma, the star from the semifinal game against the Americans. Again, his first look on cage. And he was so tough to stop. As Italy racked up 15 goals in their win over Team USA. They defeated Romania 20-2 in the quarterfinal round. Italy down Germany, 18-9, and then 10-8 over Hungary. Here's a good look across the way. Near side, again, he turns away the DeFulvio try. In transition, it's an exclusion. A couple of KG veterans yeah. there, Peroni and DeFulvio, and the exclusion against the Italian. 
And a six on five coming up now for Spain. And Peroni, the aggressor, moving in to six meters. Menorese takes a look. The dish, extra pass, save, not there. Oh, he was in front, but couldn't hang on. And DeLungo can't believe it. He had closed off that near side post, but could complete the stop. It's a 3-1 start for Spain. Made the right read. Look at that extra pass there from Spain. Made the right read. Feels like he was wearing his invisibility cloak. Went right through him <laughs> into the goal. Is that a Harry Potter reference? It, it might be. My, okay. my, uh, my sons have been watching a lot of Harry Potter uh, on the TV lately. <laughs> it is on a channel right now, I'm, I'm confident. <laughs> Clearly take that bet immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Opening quarter here at gold medal match. Spain and Italy. Spain in front. Two for two on the power play. That's bolstered them to a 3-1 lead. Italy trying to get something working in at two meters. Timer to ten. Plenty of time to operate here. Echenique, big look. Now they go inside. Whitewater and an exclusion. That's good work on the inside by Marziali. Italy will have their second power play. Janike, a big fake. Timer to seven. Italy trying to make something out of nothing. And Janike, the rebound, the follow. Agetti makes the stop. And right now, all clicking. For the Spaniards. They're two for two on the advantage. They've held Italy 0 for two, and they have the ball back now in front 3 1. A little more than four minutes to go in this first quarter. Yeah, Spain getting it done in the category we always talk about, Greg. If you can convert your six on fives and make stops on five on six, probably going to win the water pole game. Here's an exclusion. This will go against Italy and Spain on their third power play. That's DeSoma getting excluded. Good look. Up high. Grenados throwing bombs. We just said it. They were two for two. Now they're three for three. Check it out. Cross pass, catch, and shoot. High percentage look. Beautiful play from the Spaniards causing the Italians to call timeout. Make it 4-1, and Coach Campagna will talk with his group here. Trailing by three in this first quarter. <laughs> Quick huddle there. And we'll get back to live action. Spain in front here. Four to one. They've never won the World Cup five times. Bronze medalists. They defeated Greece, Montenegro, Georgia, and Australia on their way here to qualify. And as you mentioned, world champions last year defeating this Italian side. Italy, they've won all the medals of the World Cup. Took it in 93. Three times yeah. a silver medalist, one time a bronze winner here at the World Cup. It's a storied program, Italy. Right? And you just know, a uh, giveaway. Yeah. And in disbelief, Canella, he wanted a call. Turns the ball over. Our officials in this one, by the way, from Greece, Mr. Budramas, from Montenegro, Mr. Ivanovsky. It's a, a big honor to be called on to officiate any gold medal match. So congrats to those two gentlemen here in this final. Ordinary, as Renzuto was trying for the takeaway. Peroni, that's a lob pass. It ends up out high, and now they work it back around with 10 on the shot clock. Malarak across the way, up high in the cage. The Monaris off target. Under three and a half to go in this first quarter. Echenikene pushing ahead now. There's Fondelli looking inside. Marziali trying to create space as we come up on three minutes to go in this first quarter. And Echenique calls his own number. And that's 
a shot that bounces wide. Yeah, his shooting struggles continue. We haven't seen Echenique really get hot yet or find his rhythm in this tournament. And he is a guy that can score in bunches, can be so dangerous. Yeah. The veteran lefty, 33 years old. Sanahua now. Good look, little backdoor slide, and Peroni's back at it. He's got two. Again, the joy of watching Felipe Peroni play water polo. Gets inside water, gets the cross pass, and just finishes it. Spain's showing you why they're the defending world champions, right? Coming out here, jumping out to a 5-1 lead on the strong Italian team. So you get a look again at Peroni. I get the feeling, Greg, if he grew a beard, he would look like Drake. I don't disagree with you. Is that a good one? <laughs> yeah. Maybe Fred Van Fleet. A, a combo. A combo of those guys. <laughs> what's What's fun to watch uh, when you look at Peroni and, and what he's done this weekend, we talked about his, his ability to set up his teammates, mm -hmm. but it's now in a gold medal match, he seems to have said, all right, I'm going to look for my shot a little bit more here. Let me, let me take care of business here. Yes. Medals are on the line. Which is what superstars do so often, right? Ooh. They want to get their teammates involved, as there's a beautiful save by Agetti. Absolutely. He's being his best when his best is needed. Right 2 9 to go. First quarter. All Spain to start in front 5-1 in this gold medal match. If you're just joining us, we will play the conclusion of the bronze medal match after we finish this that's a field block out of play an appeal following the end of USA Hungary determining that they will replay from the four minute 24 second mark in the fourth quarter that was when Team USA was awarded the penalty on a man advantage sides were then made even following a penalty shot block with seconds still remaining on what should have been a USA advantage so we'll get to that after this. Gold at stake here in exclusion. And Italy could use a score here on the six on five, trailing 5-1, 90 seconds remaining in the first. De Soma around the way. Lost the handle. De Fulvio never got the grip. And that six on five try ended up sky high. Yeah, it's a Femera field block. That now leads to an exclusion and transition. Spain with another six on five. Grenados. Peroni. Here's La Rumba now along two meters. Looking for three. They'll say no. A save. Delungo comes up with a clutch stop, and yeah. that was close. Delungo went back inside of the goal to make that save. Borderline VAR situation. Less than a minute to play, first quarter. Shot clock to six. A little no look on the inside. An offensive is the call as they flag Bruni for a hold there. In at two meters. Shot clock, game clock about four seconds apart here as we come to the end of a first quarter dominated by Spain. The world champions here. Fourth in Tokyo at the Olympic Games. Roared back with gold last year in Budapest and looking for more hardware here. Shot clock to four. They go inside, looking to step through. Good double team. Delungo will gather it up. Spain looking for a call. Nothing doing. And that's how this first quarter comes to an end. Spain in front of Italy. 5-1 in our gold medal tilt. We will take a timeout. We'll come back to Los Angeles with more World Aquatics World Cup action after this.
Adesso facciamo gli 11 e 44, come fa fatti bene, con il palleggio, piano a Ciao, per favore, ti svegli. Dai, 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 ancora, ciao, per favore. Dai, un po' di presenza, vai dentro. Dai, 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 va bene, va bene, dai, 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 Second quarter on the way in our gold medal final. World Aquatics World Cup here from USC in Los Angeles. Spain five, Italy one. You look at what the Spanish did in that first quarter. Well, they went to work on the power play. Three for three is how they start on the extra man. The veteran, the captain, Peroni, two goals. Grenados with three. And that's how they've gone to work here. Conversely, John, Italy one for nine from the field. Yeah, Italy has not found their stride offensively. You're not seeing the DeSoma, and they haven't found it yet here either. Opening the quarter with a contra foul at two meters to get the ball back to the Spaniards. But you think at some point here, DeFulvio, Echenecki, DeSoma, right, all these offensive threats that they have, is someone get off uh, the Schneid and start getting a goal here? Inside, a scuffle. And ball under is the call. Taken away by Italy. And they'll take any edge they can get right now here, trailing 5-1. Sanahua and DeFulvio are still out on the perimeter here. DeSoma. Here's DeFulvio now with 10, and hang on, an exclusion. Italy 0 for 3 right now on the advantage. Their fourth crack at it. DeSoma oh. loads up the cannon and blasts that one past the keeper. First power play connect is there for the Italians. We talked about the lid coming off, and there it is. DeSoma winds up and just goes right over the head, right through Aguirre. And he that's had five goals last night. He did have five goals last night. He's got one here. And, Greg, that's their first goal after scoring in the first 19 seconds of the period. Right. So they scored 19 seconds into the first quarter and have not scored since until DeSoma does right now. Just when you thought the droughts were done in California. <laughs> 6.42 to go in the second quarter here. A 5-2 lead for Spain. And an exclusion. So Italy scores on one end, but then excluded down this side. Moroni inching in. Works it around the way. La Rumba. Timer to three. He'll get it back. His shot and the field block is there. DeFolvio with a monster effort to deny that attempt. Italy desperately needed that stop. It's a game of runs, Greg. So they can string together some stops. Get the ball back in their shooter's hands here. 
they can start this comeback. Offensive. And Spain will take control. What are you seeing defensively here from Spain that's making it tough for Italy? They're just flying all over the place like they did last night. They, they're so good and so active on defense as they try to complete this five on four counterattack. Save there, DeLungo. Turns aside the attempt from Cabanas. Here's a math lesson. If you're up five on four, it means you're down two on one on the other end. Let's see if they can get the ball down there. They've got help. Here's the Fulvio now sliding inside, facing a double team. He's stripped. Oh, what defense from Era coming over. To your point, John, that was a tailor made two on one way yes. down pool and unable to take advantage. She couldn't get the ball out there soon enough. They should recognize that. You're, you were down five on four. You got the stop. Know the counter, the counter right away as they get a steal inside there from Braschuti. One giveaway leads to another. Italy now on the attack. Braschuti fans out. He'll go weak side. Cruising in. And an exclusion as they go into DeFulvio. Power play now for the Italians, trying to make this a two goal game with 4.37 to play in the first half. DeSoma fires that back across the way. Shot clock to six. Good lob on the inside, nobody home. You know what they were going for. Bruni was in the area, but those plays half a second too soon or too late, and it goes by the boards. Yeah, Bruni just was not prepared for that setup. The Italians needed that, though. You said it, Greg. They score that, it's a two goal game. They give one up here, they're down four. It's a massive difference. That's huge. What a discard there from DeLungo. What's well, funny sometimes, too curious your thoughts I, I think sometimes on these really experienced teams it almost reminds me in football of like throwing a receiver open these guys yeah. put a pass up feeling like there's going to be some sort of telepathy there that the other guy will know where to be in close yeah no, no there's no doubt especially when you start developing the chemistry that these guys have developed with the continuity of time they play as as on whistle maybe 17 from the official a little shoving the exclusion will be called and the kick out will go on Spain and Bustos. Here's another. Six on four. Big chance here for Italy. Echenique is halted. The rebound taken away. So in two different circumstances, first a two on one, then a six on four. Italy can't convert. No, these are big opportunities that they're missing. Echenique still struggling to find the back of the net in this tournament. And it's costing Italy. How about the defense from Spain stifling here when Italy has opportunities from the outside a rocket whoa Sana Hua talk about a rocket Greg you said it that was out of this world watch this the legs the heat it's a better angle here great look look at that top shelf Sanahua, part of that duo, he and Grenados putting it away from the perimeter for Spain. And that just makes countries around the world shake their head because Sanahu is 22 and Grenados is 24. Yeah. And so you'll be dealing with these guys for quite some time. Quite some time. Yeah. Well, you know, every team in the country, the best teams in the country, uh, best teams in the world, I've done a good job of developing young talent in the countries. And, and so we've seen it across the board here in this tournament. Spain just doing a great job of mixing that with their veteran talent like Perone. Whistles abound once more and we'll have an exclusion. So Italy again with a chance here. Their seventh time they've been up. The last time was a kind of a combo trip with a six on four. Looking for an angle. Marching in and has that deflected from behind. Good help. Grenados coming over on the way down from bad to worse. An exclusion. And now a power play here for Spain. 
their sixth opportunity. Up 6-2 and a great opportunity for Moore. So Fondelli misses the shot and then gets excluded in transition. How many times do you see that, Greg, in this sport? Happens constantly. Another six on four. Skip is in. Grenados doing a little bit of everything right now for Spain, and they stay steady, 7-2. We just called Sanahua's name a second ago. I mentioned Grenados in the same breath. This time it's him, and Grenados blasts it home with the skip shot on the power play. And it just felt like moments ago that it was 5-2. Italy had possession, had a great opportunity to score, could have made it 5-3. And now instead find themselves down five goals, seven to two. It's funny you say it. I marked it down moments ago. Three minutes, 20 seconds. Around that time, Italy had the two on one that yes. didn't work. Followed it with a six on four. Got nothing. And here you are, seven two. Yeah. Two minutes to go. First half. Gold medal match here at the World Cup. DeSoma. Timer to ten. Big righty. His shot if he wants it. Timer to three. Rattles the cage. No goal. And again, the 20 year old keeper lets out a yell. Yeah, and a fist pump. He's loving it. What a tournament he's having, Greg. Gets a little help from the crossbar there. Wouldn't shock you if he's keeper of the tourney. I would, uh, I got $20 in my pocket right now. <laughs> <laughs> Take that bet immediately. Awards to follow <laughs> once we wrap up tonight. Entry in here. And that's an exclusion. It will go against Italy and Renzuto. And Spain will call for time. And this Spanish squad, they are dialed in right now. Up 7 2, 115 to go in the first half. They got the exclusion. Even if they didn't get that, right. it was shaping up to be a very difficult stop for the Italians. Yeah. They make a no call there. If they had the Toro keep going, he's either drawing a penalty or scoring a goal there. So. Uh, just continues to impress him. Welcome back to Los Angeles. Just a reminder, if you're just joining us, we will replay the end of the bronze medal match following this game. And just been given word, it will be 20 minutes after the conclusion of this gold medal match. We will then pick up the fourth quarter of the bronze medal game with 424 to play in the fourth. And it was following an appeal. Spain outside of the cage on that attempt. One of the few things that hasn't worked for Grenados. And now in transition as we are closing in on halftime here. So good defensive stand there for Italy. And Spain had the advantage out of the timeout and now a save is made by Aguetti. That was a little one-on-one -on -one battle there from DeFulvio and Grenados. Italy's got to win a couple of these one-on-one -on -one matchups. They got to Get their shooters going. They haven't been able to do so yet this game. And Agatti, five saves for Spain. Seven second different shot end game clock. Final moments here, first half. Big fake. He got the defender full, turned his head, but that shot had too much bounce. Shot clock is off now. Italy could use a little something here before the intermission. Delungo. Here's DeSoma with five. With three. Quick turn and fire. There it is. DeFulvio wasting no time and shakes his finger at Aguetti. Yeah. And a little exchange of words and the ball thrown around. Second look here. 
And again, he who shares his emotions wow. from the cage. Every time he makes a block, DeFolio yeah. had some thoughts for him as he yes. brings it back 7-3. I like it. It's a little healthy trash talking in the pool. You got to allow the players to do that. Let them channel their emotions into the competition. Two seconds. A field block is there. And in a first half dominated by Spain, Italy showing signs of life late. They get an important goal from DeFolio. Cut this down to four in our gold medal finale here from the World Aquatics World Cup. It's a 7-3 lead for Spain behind four huge goals from Grenados, two from the captain Peroni. Six saves from Agatti in cage for Italy, trying to get their offense on track. DeFulvio, that latest score, Bruni and DeSoma, the others. Galungo with three stops in cage. We will listen in to some of the halftime chats here. We'll come back with the third quarter, you're watching the World Aquatics Men's Water Polo World Cup live from Southern California. Vale, chicos. Eh, eh. Sobre todo, van a querer provocar un, una guerra. Vale. Muy atento a estas llegadas y las faltas de meter brazos rápidos. Okay. No podemos renunciar a atacar. Hay que ser profundos en la contra, hay que nadar, nos trincan, hay que nadar. Profundidad, balón a extremo, para que voy hasta cerca. Miguel Rouget, os necesitamos ahora, ¿vale? Otra cosa, hemos perdido a Blay por la agresión. Dos, Seri tiene dos, por eso os digo, tenéis que repartir cogiendo la boya, para ir cogiendo expulsiones, pero no podemos perder a otro tío por tres. Los que lleváis dos, cuidado, ¿vale? Cuidado no hacer expulsiones tontas, ¿vale? Y ellos lo mismo, lleva Canela, lleva el, el, el segundo mollo, ¿vale? Hay que buscar, ¿entendido? ¿Vale? Ahora alguna vez un poquito más de zona, con más brazos. Por favor, no dejamos estar en el cuarto, lo que dice David. Luego la verdad es no que tenemos que acelerar, última jugada, calma. ¿Vale? Pero seguimos saliendo, seguimos corriendo. Queda mucho partido, quedan dos partes. No nos precipitamos con lanzamientos que son imposibles de meter. Mejor balón aquí y cerramos. ¿Vale, chavales? ¡Eh! Cago en la puta, ¿eh? Vamos, eh, 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 vale, Gold medal match, second half on the way. Spain seven, Italy three. John Abdu, Greg Meskel joining you here. Poolside in Los Angeles, and of a great weekend of water polo. A stellar two weeks of international competition with the Women's World Cup. Last weekend in Long Beach, Team USA claiming gold. And now the men's edition coming to a close. The gold medal matchup here. And then, as a reminder, 20 minutes after this ends, we will replay the final four minutes, 24 seconds of the bronze medal contest between Team USA and Hungary. Teams have switched ends now. It's Spain moving right to left on your screen in the white caps, and they, regardless of the direction, get back to doing what they've done, drawing an exclusion, going up on the power play. And that's Tahul for Spain, drawing the exclusion. Talked a lot about him this tournament as well. Just been dominant inside since Friday. They've got some difficult bigs down low, that's for sure. That shot is outside of the cage. Things getting 
a touch chippy here. It was at the end of the set, uh, first half and now yeah. continuing here in transition. As that shot try by Grenado as he was trying to find the right arm angle for that one and it ended up sailing wide. Italy got that goal late in the second quarter. The difference here has been the first. Spain jumped out 5-1. Italy's been chasing the game since then. Yeah, and that's Tahu who got excluded on that, or excluded here on the defensive end after drawing the exclusion on the offensive end, and see if Italy can start the second half here better on six on five. DeSoma now along two meters. Echenique, he's due at some point. It's to Fulvio. Good look. The catch. <laughs> the release. Oh, that is beautiful in front. Prosciutti on the power play. Prosciutti making the highlight reel here. DeFulvio up on his legs, get it over, brings it down and around, backhands it in. Let's check out this. Look, watch this. Boom, around. Look at the ball control, the leg strength to put that away. Great athletic effort there from Prosciutti, and this is what the Italians need. Convert your first six on five and start chipping away. Now 7-4. Forget live stats available courtesy of Micro Plus Timing. Head to usawaterpolo.org. Click on the World Cup link to access power play here. And an absolute laser. Put it up high. Luna Reese cashing in on the six on five. So Spain gives Italy no time to enjoy what just <laughs> transpired. Seconds later, Luna Reese, let's fly. They answered it right away. So maple bar, where are we going? <laughs> Sprinkles. Over the head. We talked about Randy's Donuts earlier here for in L.A. Don't forget to stop by. One more mention, and John gets a coupon for yep. I got <laughs> one more, dozen. One more in the contract they sent me, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> dozen will be on my doorstep Monday morning. Just about two minutes gone by here in the third. To full VO. With three. And that was a tip out. Campagna in disbelief, as are many of the fans. And we play on. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell. Ball was moving so fast. These guys throw so hard there. But see if we can get a second look at that at some point soon. But in the meantime, we play on 8 4. Peroni goes lob. Well read. Lalungo gathers. And then an exclusion. Wow. And under the surface, Grenados, he comes up holding his eye, but he's been excluded. So he'll need to take that action over to the corner. Yeah, he's going to have to sprint there too. Gets there quick enough. Make sure they go. But to Fulvio and him entangling all game. Power play now for Italy. Echenique marching in, looking for an angle. Drops that on the water, and they don't get a shot off. Spanish bench yelling for the VAR review on what they believe is a potential brutality there on Grenada. Still holding his eye, lying on his back over there at the bench. Been a very physical game, as we've talked about already, Greg, but lots of action happening in the water. And and now an exclusion inside. Easy money. Peroni with some words for DeFulvio. He was excluded and on his way out. Peroni puts that one away, and they are still in conversation as we head down the other end. So Spain continues to have these quick fire six on fives, and they are so yeah. deflating for Italy, who had been working their way back in. Yeah, for everything Italy done has done, Spain has had two answers for them. And still lots of chatter in the water right now. And lots of history between these two teams. They've they've met up in every final matchup you can think of. Now doing it here again in the in, in the World Cup or here doing it here in Los Angeles. And not only seeing each other here at, at uh, national team events and uh, world championships, seeing each other in club club championships, club competition, Pro Reco playing, you know, New Belgrade and in, in Champions League, different times where these players have matched up with each other. So familiarity breeds contempt, and we're seeing a lot of it right now. 
Here's DeFulvio. And to say they know each other well, right? An understatement. Here's a foul at six. Under four and a half to go in the third quarter. And now an exclusion on this side. Italy, two for nine on the advantage. Here's their 10th try. Make it six on four. Malarak going off. Six on four. Good chance here for Italy. A must have. Who wants it? Field block. Oh, what defense from Spain. And a fist to the sky for La Rumba as he helps cancel that six on four try for Team Italy. And that's what makes Spain so special. They take just as much pride and enthusiasm on defense as they do on offense. You see how much excitement they, they showed after the field block, and that's what's fueling them to a five goal lead right now in this final. And you mentioned just the familiarity, right? The club play, playing in all the big events, met in World Championships last year. An exclusion on this side, and you have to assume with the physical play ramping up, this will only continue here. It's going to be a six on five fest. It already has been, and it's going to keep going. <laughs> uh, no, no doubt, and especially with the, the talent of the centers that was to hold drawn another exclusion inside. You're going to see so much attention in front of the goal. Spain up 9 4. A few fakes send to Lungo. Big denial. Now DeSoma trying to head the other way. So Spain now 6 for 11 on the advantage. Italy 2 for 10. These two programs only meeting recently. If you go back to the 90s, right? These are, these totally. are the two mark, two of the marquee teams when you talk about Olympics, Worlds, and all the big events. Storied programs. Lots of matchups through over the decades. So we're seeing another classic one tonight here in Los Angeles. Delhi, as the shot clock expired, and you could hear DeFulvio calling over to him. As Italy now uncharacteristic here. And credit Spain with good defense, but a couple of possessions now just not getting a shot off. No, Spain's playing the best defense of anyone in this tournament, and it's showing here again tonight. Two and a half. Third quarter, gold medal match here. Peroni in a real battle with the Fulvio here. Here's the foul. And it's tip out to Lungo. That's been fun to watch this battle with Tefulvio and Peroni getting after it. Shot clock to 20 on the reset. Foul. The lefty winds up. And that's a tip out. We'll say DeLungo got a piece of this. And he did, Mullerock and Peroni, both taking high shots, getting the tip outs, keeping time of possession in favor of the Spaniards. And then the ball just up for grabs. Munariz just didn't go after it there as Peroni put it out to him. And now Italy goes to work. And they need to start stringing some things together here with two minutes to go in the third. Down 9-4. Again, they've played pretty even water polo. The first quarter is what's come back to haunt them, falling down 5-1 to Fulvio in traffic. Aguirre swats that away and gives a big fist bump. To Fulvio now. Tries to dump that inside. Loose ball. Up for grabs, tipped around. And Italy able to maintain possession. DeSoma, meanwhile, he has that denied. Oh, what a field block. Wow. Punched all the way out of play. On a broken play that Italy was trying to clean up. The big righty is denied. That's Cabanas with that field block. And Spain just continuing to validate the praise they're getting for their defense in this tournament. Inside. And there's an exclusion. That's De Toro, the other center on <laughs> Spain, drawing lots and lots of exclusions here. Let's we'll see if they can convert one more. Coming up on one minute to go in this third quarter. 
Along two meters now. Good look on the post. Put it away right in front. Goal number 10 for the Spanish squad. He earns it, he scores it. De Toro gets it back on the post. Great feed, gets the dunk inside. Earn the exclusion, scores the goal. And that's now a six goal lead for Spain. And what you, again, have characterized as felt like even water polo for the you know, latest stretch here, the last, last you know, 15, 16 minutes of water polo. But somehow Spain still has a six goal lead. Go back to that first quarter, go back to all the conversions they're making now. And a surprising result here. I think many looked at this gold medal match as, A, not surprised that these two teams ended up sure, there, sure. but B, we're in for a tight battle and still a fourth quarter to come, but Spain serving notice here through three periods. Yeah, no doubt. 45 seconds to go in the third. Every time Italy makes a push, as John's mentioned, Spain answers back twice. Here's the 11th advantage opportunity for the Italians. De Toro going off. Oh, seen a large number of six on fours today. Yes. Here's another. Another big chance. Can Italy take advantage? Nope. They cannot. That's at least the second six on four that they have not scored on. Yeah, and not even getting on cage, right? To miss the cage entirely, not to get a, a, a look what they're needed, but they've, they've really, really struggled here on offense, you know, obviously. Uh, and, the, and Spain, if they can hold on here for 10 seconds, we'll have a six goal lead going into the fourth quarter, which feels like an insurmountable amount. Shot clock is off. They'll pop this over the top. Delungo will get it back. And that's a fly. That is tipped out. Not sure it would have counted anyway, but that's how the third quarter ends. So after Spain jumps out to a 5-1 late second quarter, even up 2-2, pain, uh, Spain rather delivering pain, <laughs> the aggressor here in the third. They outscore Italy 3-1. They're holding the Italians to 2 for 11 on the extra man, and it is all clicking right now. Moroni, three goals. Granados with four. You're seeing others get involved now. Munariz, De Toro. It's a balanced diet on offense, and Spain's in front 10 4, eight minutes away from World Cup gold. We're back with the fourth period. Fourth quarter ahead in our World Cup gold medal match. Just a reminder, fans, we've got more water polo to come. 20 minutes after the exclusion, uh, the conclusion. I've seen too many kickouts, John. Yeah, yeah, 20 many. minutes after the conclusion of this match, we will see the replaying of the bronze medal match from the 4 minute 24 second mark on between Team USA and Hungary. As it stands now, Hungary won in a shootout. That is wiped off the board. Yep. An appeal after that match. Everyone getting together and understanding that there was a moment in that game at 424 where Team USA 
was on a six on five, then draws a penalty. They're blocked on the penalty. They don't get to continue the six on five despite having possession of the ball back. That's right. And that is what triggered the appeal and will allow us to have extra water polo here tonight yeah. in L.A. So. And while there's a lot of Team USA fans here in the stands, the whole crowd is here to watch the gold medal match between Spain and Italy. And we've got to see some really great individual plays, but a little disappointed, Greg, not going to lie. Everybody here thought this would be a one goal game, a highly contested match, and Spain said, we're going to continue our dominance after winning the World Championship last summer, going for a World Cup title now. Shot clock to four. Not this time. And Spain will take control. And this is a team, John, you talked about it earlier in the weekend, not happy with their performance in Tokyo. No, no. I, I think after finishing fourth in Tokyo, they were looking for a medal there. They were disappointed. But Tokyo 2021, now they turn around and win a world championship in Budapest 2022 and are well on their way to a World Cup title in 2023. So they took that disappointment and have fueled it into the next couple of championships here and uh, maybe a great learning experience. A lot of young talent, you know, a lot of development they've done over there and really been a treat to watch them play. And now on the way to the World Championships later this month in Japan, more medals at stake there, a chance to qualify for the Paris Olympics as well. Again, he gets a piece of that. Italy will stay here. Keep in mind, these two teams, by making this match, they have earned their spot at the 2024 World Championships in Qatar. So valued, no matter how you cut it, yes. for both of these squads. But also huge preparation for Paris qualification opportunities starting in a couple of weeks in Japan as Peroni just devours that shot try with the field block. Peroni eats that up, and they know here. You can see Spain slowing it down a little bit. They're one or two more stops away from just mathematically making this an insurmountable lead. And if they can draw a couple more exclusions inside here, get some solid possession. See Tahul sprinting in here on the sub. They could really push this lead. You're exactly right. With two minutes gone by in this fourth quarter, and the save is made there on the Malarok try, you can just start to do the calculations and realize, yeah. okay, with a 30-second shot clock, we play smart for a couple of minutes, and this one's in the bag. And you can see that from Peroni. Peroni knows what he's doing. Again, the captain, the vet. A 37 years old knows what he's doing in there. Offensive. And it turns over. It happens all the time. We go back to Friday in the quarterfinal round. We saw what Romania did against this Italy team. We've since learned Romania is not a team that loses 20 to 2. No. With the way they've played. Conversely, this is a very good Italian team. Tonight, perhaps not their night, but no reason they couldn't go to Fukuoka, take gold. No. No. Absolutely. As we see Tahul inside. Stuffed. Ooh. DeLungo. Major stop in close. Tahul tried to put a capper on that one. Didn't get it. But to your point, Greg, this is no knock on Italy. Their struggle this weekend was finding uh, their rhythm offensively. Uh, they, they really couldn't get Echenique, the Fulvio, some of these guys, you know, Canelo, just really get into a rhythm offensively. They never really did through the course of the weekend. And that could happen easily in Fukuoka. That shot's feel blocked away. And, you know, the Italians last night, Eduardo de Soma, he had that fantastic game. He sure. was the player of the match. He talked not so much about his offense, but about the defensive energy that they needed to bring yeah. throughout every game and look towards this match. Hey, if we're there with our defensive energy, then we have a chance for a gold medal. But Spain jumped out early. A five-goal first quarter in a match like this, that can be backbreaking. It is. It is. And, and, you know, you got the veteran leadership from DeLungo. So, you know, they expect a lot of themselves out of themselves defensively. And, uh, and again, very capable of doing so. Uh, my, to me, the story of this tournament, the story of this gold medal match is the credit given to the Spaniards. They've really just put together a comprehensive, all-around, world-class team and organization. And with just about four minutes to play, they have their sights set on the gold medal and a World Cup championship. It'll be one of the few things missing yeah. from the trophy case back home. They've never won the World Cup. That is 
three minutes and 54 seconds away from changing. They were the Olympic champions in 1996. Yep. They were the world champs, of course, last year, 98, 01, and now the World Cup. And well earned and well deserved. Really a complete team. Timer to five. Seen some just dynamic field block, and there's a lot of young players in the crowd here watching, and yeah. this has just been a clinic in field blocking throughout the weekend. And as we see another exclusion here in transition, putting my coaching hat on here, it makes me so excited to see so many young people here in the stands watching, knowing so many are watching at home online, learning a lot from this world-class talent that's in the pool here. Learn to field block. Young boys and girls out there, keep developing your game. You get real good at that, you'll have a place in the pool. Absolutely. And there it is. On cue. Power plays over. That one sails wide. A reminder, after this one wraps, 20 minutes later, we'll replay the end of the bronze medal game. John, it doesn't happen often. No. I, I can't recall where we'll actually go back and play the end of a game. You often hear the idea of an appeal or a protest. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't always work out in the favor of the team that, that makes the appeal. What does a warm-up for 4 minutes and 32 seconds or 4 minutes and 24 seconds look like for these teams? They were in the water for a long yeah. time. They got out. Some of them were dressed. Some of them weren't. As we go back inside here, do you try and go back through your full routine? What do you do? No, no, it's an abridged version, right? You go through a quick, a quick warm-up to get yourself back ready. More importantly, what are you doing right now? Are you getting some, some calories in your body? Are you getting some fuel in your system? Because you know, your whole body was you know, prepared to peak at this right time, and you fueled appropriately for that, and now you've got to kind of refuel. So are they getting some rest? Are they getting their bodies ready right now? And the warm-up can be short, 10 minutes, refire up those muscles, and get ready to go. As the shot clock expires, again, it controls it. With two minutes to play, you can get the gold medals ready for Spain. What an effort here to hold this Italian side to four goals at this point. And again, there hasn't been a goal scored in this quarter yet, and Spain hasn't needed one. They continue to do the job offensively. And that's all that's been required with three on the shot clock. Yeah, you can tell Spain came with the attitude. We'll keep getting stops. We have a Gary in the back. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. Let's walk away from this, knowing that we can earn a medal as Italy turns the ball over. Gaddy will take control. Coach Martin throws up the stop sign here and tells everyone just to calm down. Let's, again, run time off the clock. And in rather anticlimactic fashion here, Spain is yeah. going to win the 2023 World Aquatics World Cup. Yeah, again, shout out to Coach Martin and his staff that did a great job. Again, all last summer, all this year in preparation for this event. And another exclusion there. Canella with the face contact excluded for Italy. And what will be interesting to see is do these two teams cross paths with a medal on the line a few weeks from now in Japan at the World Championships. On the inside. And knocked down by Dolungo. Less than a minute to go here in the fourth. Uh, offensive. If you're a betting man, if you're out there and you're thinking, chances are we may see these teams again in a semifinal, in a final, depending on how the brackets play out. But it's a uh, still two of the best teams in the world. And, you know, everybody preparing for the World Championships. You don't look past a World Cup. You try to win here and there. But you know that a lot of teams are training through this, still lifting through this weekend, still getting in the weight room, still putting in the heavy yards in conditioning. So knowing that you have to peak twice in the summer and that second peak still to come. And the fans here with a warm reception for Spain as they start to wind down the rest of this clock, letting the shot clock expire here as they are on their way to World Cup gold. For Spain, their first World Cup title. For Italy, they will add a fourth silver. So three seconds remaining. That's all in this one. And in 2023, it's Spain, your World Cup champions. They take it to Italy. Jump out to a 5-1 lead on the way to a 10-4 victory. 
and they put on a defensive show to claim the top spot here in Los Angeles. A dominant effort from Friday to Sunday by the Spaniards, and you see him celebrating in the pool now. Not the heavy celebration you'd see at the end of an Olympic Games or World Championships where everybody's in the pool, but a big one nonetheless. A World Cup title, the first for their federation. They're going to take this and keep building and look for that moment to jump back in the pool with their staff and their fans and later this summer. For as hotly contested as this match was, you see a lot of mutual respect here between yeah. these guys afterwards. They can leave it in the pool with how hard they go for a title here in L.A. Was happy to see the referees allow some of that healthy back and forth with the with the two teams in the water, knowing that these are two of the best teams in the world and they're showing that respect right now. And the captain Peroni, a warm embrace for Aguirre, the veteran, the 37 year old wrapping up the 20 year old in a hug. That's yeah. cool to see. Yeah. Only a 17 year difference between them, but both of them world champions today. So player of the match to follow medal ceremonies, of course, we'll have to wait till the conclusion of our bronze medal game, which is coming up here shortly. The final four minutes and 24 seconds. So look over the final numbers. Peroni got things started for this Spanish side with three goals. Granados adds four. Agati with 11 huge stops. Really just a couple of goals, only four. They yeah. never got their big guns clicking here. Prosciutti, Bruni, De Soma, De Fulvio, all with a goal apiece, but they end up shooting just 13% from the field, four for 30. You combine that with their struggles on the extra man, two for 11, two for 12 rather, and it all lines up for the Spanish squad. So congrats to Spain, gold here in Los Angeles. Congrats to Italy. They take silver, both qualify for the 2024 World Aquatics World Championships. We aren't done just yet. In about 20 minutes time, we will finish off the bronze medal in a rare moment here where an appeal answered the end of the bronze medal game to be replayed. And that's coming up between Team USA and Hungary. It'll stay right here on this same stream for those watching on the World Aquatics channel. And so we will step aside momentarily. We have those player of the match interviews coming up and then we will return with the end of the bronze medal game. So John Abdu, Greg Mesko saying stick around. We have more water polo to come as Team USA hungry. They're back in the water to close out this bronze medal match and finish off our 2023 World Cup. We'll step aside and more to come.
Welcome back to Southern California. John Abdu, Greg Meskel here with you as we're about to resume the bronze medal match. Spain has won gold here at the World Cup. Italy taking the silver. But we return to the bronze medal game between Hungary and Team USA. We will resume play in the fourth quarter with 424 remaining. And why are we here? We'll see a lot of the comments here on the live stream. <laughs> what happened? So yeah. back in the bronze medal game as it was originally played at 424 to go, Team USA was on a six on five. They then drew a penalty. At that penalty shot, they had the shot blocked out of play. Team USA had the ball back, but sides were made even when they were still on a six on five yeah. for an additional amount of time. The game continued on. It went into penalty shootout where Hungary won by two. Following the match, an appeal, able to review what transpired. Honestly, this is a tough sport to officiate, we know, so not trying to disparage the referees. Sure. But on review, pretty cut and dry. Yeah. It was a miss. They were able to go back and replay the game from this point forward. And so that's where we stand now. 424 on the clock. USA and Hungary. Hungary leading Team USA 13-12. This is after, as we travel back in time, this is after the penalty shot try is blocked. Team USA will have the ball back. Seven on the shot clock, still on the man advantage. Okay. And the terminology used in water polo for this is correctable error. So there's a correctable error here. An error happened. The desk waved the player in. The referees just allowed it. it Hungary should have never been allowed to be even in that situation. So the seven seconds of player advantage opportunity for Team USA is where the game begins and where the correctable error happened to go forth from here. And if you're wondering, does this happen a lot? It does not. No. No, but better to get it right. Correct. Better to get it right than to walk away here with doubt left in everyone's mind. And I think that's the consensus around. Important to get these things right as sports continue to evolve. The reason you have replay, VAR, delegates, you know, so much oversight over this thing is to make sure that you get these things right. So an opportunity to do so here. And the majority of these fans have hung around. Yes. Some after Team USA lost in the shootout started to head for the exit. And then word came down that we would replay the end of this match and folks came rushing back to yep. their seats. They stayed through a gold medal match that saw Spain in just dominant fashion take their country's first ever World Cup crown in men's water polo. And now we're back to finish things off here on a Sunday evening in Los Angeles. A holiday weekend here in the U.S. for many with 4th of July on Tuesday. Right. So hopefully not too many folks yeah. have work tomorrow. If you're watching us on the East Coast, we know it is inching towards midnight right now. It is. Thanks for sticking with us. And big, big shout out to this crowd. You, uh, to your point, Greg, it is still standing room only in front of us here at USC. So many people have stuck around. Almost 100% of the crowd is still here watching. John, let's talk player mentality here, Coach yes. Mentality. How, how challenging is it to re-engage in a game like this? We saw afterwards some guys were fully dressed. They had yeah. warmed down. They were in other clothes. Yeah. Others were sitting in their suit trying to figure out what was next. How do you piece it all back together? It's, it's, it's a challenge, right? It's a challenge, but it's a test. It's a test. And, and what's great about this is every test like this is a growth opportunity. It's a growth opportunity. So for the mentality of the team, it's, we talked about this a little earlier, stay physically okay. So get some food in your system, right? Get some, some fuel in there, some good fuel. Stay loose. Don't let your body tighten up. So kept to keep the body activated, short warm up in the pool to get yourself going. And from a mentality standpoint, right, time to regroup, right? Time to be, as uh, Ted Lasso famously has been saying, right, be the goldfish, right? Have a short <laughs> memory, forget what happened, and start over, right? Get back in the pool and get going. So getting things sorted out here. A lot of folks working behind the scenes here on site. Big shout out to everyone on the table staff and all the organizers hustling to get this correct. Get the clock set back up to unwind the statistics. Yeah. If you're looking at the micro plus live scoring props to that team. It is not a simple task to take things back and reset it the way it was and make sure everything is correct. So a lot of people working in concert to get this to where it needs to be. And it looks like now we are ready to resume play. So 424 on the game clock. 
20 on the shot clock, but seven seconds remaining on the exclusion. So Team USA with a six on five edge here. Now, I'd imagine they'll have them start at mid pool. Yeah. And so that'll be not a lot of time on the advantage to, to get to work here. Well, I think they'll let them set out, but I think just kind of off the timeout, starting here, and then I think they'll let them swim. I think they'll still let them set up. As, what a great shot of the pool, by the way. Look at that. Yeah, Every beautiful. time he's that long shot. Beautiful work by our blitz crew here. Our Romanian base team delighted by yesterday's results. I can only imagine with the big win for the Romanian crew. And they played tough today as well. Yeah. Shout out to Blitz. Shout out to Team Romania. Shout out to everybody for a great event here in Los Angeles. USA Water Polo for hosting this event for the first time in a long time and getting some high level games on domestic soil. First time since 1995 this event has been in the U.S. It was in Atlanta back in 95. Had often served as a precursor to home Olympic Games. It was in Malibu back in 1983 ahead of the L.A. Games. They were played at Pepperdine. Still trying to understand the delay here. It looks like everyone's in the water, you know. Um, getting ready. Kind of waiting for the green light to go. Clock is set. I think there are a lot of T's to cross and a a lot of lowercase j's to dot to make sure this one is all figured out. That lower j, j uh, that's a Wayne's World reference if you're curious. That's so. fair. I was looking for that one. Yep. I thought you were trying to say uh, <laughs> I thought you were trying to say j for justice. But sure, <laughs> justice will be served here. USA gets to come back. <laughs> sure, fair to go that route. <laughs> purely, purely looking at the registration for Wayne Stock is where my mind was at. <laughs> fair, fair. All right. All right. Looks like we're ready now. They're going to retake the penalty here. So they're not starting right away with the six on five. They're going to start actually with the penalty that if you go back to the game at the moment in time was when Johnny Hooper got blocked. And that's where the mistake happened. And so now USA with the opportunity to change the shooter. So Max Irving going to take the penalty here. And there was some debate here on how this would start. Would it be post penalty or at the penalty shot? So now we get word it'll be Max Irving with a chance to tie this game. 13-12, Team USA trailing. The keeper, Vogel, nowhere near the goal line. So he backs up now. Here's Irving for the five meter. Able to hit, we're tied at 13 as this bronze medal match gets back underway. The Sunday night water polo fans won't <laughs> soon forget. We are back underway. Max Irving adds to what has been a stellar match for the Long Beach native. He now has five goals. And here we go, Greg. So that was it. You get to retake the penalty. It happens now. 424 time tie game. And that's the amount of time it's going to take to decide who wins the bronze medal at this World Cup. And let's see who can build some momentum here. As now Hungary on the attack. Varga goes inside, quick turn, and Weinberg able to parry that away with the left. Weinberg gloves that from Varga. Talked about getting loose. I wonder how much youth or age or experience factors into staying loose this late in the contest. Ordinary, here's Zelanki. Jancic now. Zelanki with 10 on the timer. Halleck defending. Shot clock to seven. Lefty tries a sidearm save. Weinberg. And Team USA takes control. The sun has set a little chill in the air here as we've reached nighttime on July 2nd in Southern California. And here's an outlet to Dodd. Chase Dodd moving in. Yep, ball under. Ball under is the call. Nice job by Hungary getting back there to slow that down. And they've also kind of removed some of that leniency. Even if you're the one to put the ball under, right. they're going to get you for a ball under there. Used yeah. to kind of have a little more free reign there. Yeah. Offensive. As they try to work inside. And that's a turnover. Looking in close for Tony Nemeth. And now Weinberg will control. Coming up on three minutes to play here in the fourth. Irving now. Halleck backing in down low. 
Bowen gives a look. Let's it fly. It's tipped up and denied. Vogel. And then in transition, Halleck excluded. So Hungary will have the six on five opportunity as they make their way down the other end. Coming up on 2.40 to play here. Fourth quarter, all tied at 13. Varga. A few fakes. Righty gets it back. Takes a look. Doesn't like it. Drops it in near side. And that's outside of the goal as the shot clock was about to expire on the attempt there from Jancic. So they've gone back and forth for two minutes since the penalty goal for Max Irving. Both teams have had their chances. Who's going to crack it first? Here's a look inside. Dodd looking for the ball. He's surrounded and ball under again. A triple team on the Hungarian show up in force to take that one away from Team USA. Coming up on two minutes left. You definitely see some fatigue in the water. Neither team really countering that hard sluggish getting up and down the pool and someone's going to have to pull off an individual effort here to try to get another goal for their team. Alec waiting for his flying sub. Less than two to play here in the fourth. And Gale thinking about it. Varga now with five. They drop that inside. A double team and a takeaway. And it's Ryder Dodd. And just that fast, 90 seconds remaining, has the feel of college overtime here in the U.S. A three minute period that evaporates before you can even blink. And we're quickly down to 124 to play in this restarted fourth quarter in this bronze medal match. That's Ben Halleck now posting back up in the middle. Creating Halleck some looking space. inside. Dodd fires it in. Halleck looks to turn. Exclusion is the call. Team USA will go up on the six on five with 111 left. And Team USA trying to call for time. And they do. Now again, Coach Adovacic in the fourth quarter had used both timeouts before again the correctable error time. So this timeout comes back into play since it was used during time that we are re, uh, now replaying. So back to the future energy. Yeah, yes, serious back to the future energy. Um, as we take a listen in to Coach Adovacic in the huddle. Hi, one for Bowen. Your five boss. Watch Kim Bowen also. Hey, you pass it. You read, you read. You read. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Out of the huddle and ready to go to work here. So that timeout restored. And now they use it. With 111 to play. Looking for the go ahead goal. Weinberg pushes ahead to Bowen and he'll retreat. Coming up on one minute to play. Here's Dodd to Dodd. On that far side. Out to Irving. He's been the man. Wow. Vogel with the right hand. 55 seconds to play. 20 on the reset now for Team USA. Chase Dodd now out high. The exclusion over. Even strength. Dodd takes a look. Irving now with 10. Gives to Bowen. Pours it inside. Clean look. Oh, Halleck breaking free. Team USA up one. The crowd goes wild. Love the patience and the maturity from Team USA there. Did not convert on the six on five opportunity. Said it's okay. Let's be patient. Waited for their center to free up. Got him the ball. And they scores the go ahead goal. Halleck's been waiting all weekend for a natural goal out of two meters. Got some space to operate. And the standout for Pro Reco, one of the best clubs of all time in Europe. He's Team USA's captain, and he just got the job done inside. They didn't rush it, took their time. Good position there. Now they need one more stop to close the game out. Zalanki has the ordinary. And we'll get an exclusion. Big chance here inside. Wave it off. Hang on. 
first the exclusion. Hungry tried to go on the quick. Yeah. We've seen this throughout the weekend. They Teams know better. Trying to, to activate quickly on the six on five, pull that goal back, and now a timeout. Hungary will use their final timeout with 25 seconds left in the quarter, 19 on the shot clock, and a monumental power play on tap for the Hungarians. Egyes Blacky, kettes Zalesz, hármas Dumi, négyes Vince, ötös Szili. Jó, figyelj, három-három állunk föl, oké? Okay? Innen a Gergő a széléről, berobog a fához. A... Egyes egyesből, három-három, egyesből jön be. Gyerünk, Jó, Zalesz, ott leszel mögötte, figyeljtek oda. Oké, okay? kettes lesz belőle, három-háromból kettes. Gyerünk, gyerünk, gyerünk. So hungry, ready for a six on five with 25 seconds left. Team USA, in this restarted match, they have turned the tide in this fourth quarter. They were outscored 4-1 in the third. They have outscored Hungary 4-1 here in the fourth. But the Hungarians with an opportunity. The defending World Cup champs looking for a bronze medal here in LA. On the power play, shot clock to 10. Here's Varga. Zolanki now, that's off the mark. Then Team USA will recover. Hungary looking for a tip out. It's a field block. And Team USA now 10 seconds away Ooh. from claiming the bronze here in SoCal. Irving out in front. Time winding down. There's an exclusion. And the bronze is on the way for Team USA. They take it. 14-13. That's your final. Team USA claiming the bronze medal here. Hungarians looking for what they thought was a tip out on that final play. That's why you see a little bit of the commotion still here on deck. All smiles for Coach Adovacic and Team USA. They get a chance to replay the final minutes of this fourth quarter. Referee is talking at the table, and so that's why Coach Novacic and the squad not going too far here in case there'll be any conversation about the final moments there. But for now, it's a 14-13 victory, and it's a bronze medal for Team USA. That's Vogel still staying in the pool for Hungary as well. Wondering if they get the chance to look at that on VAR, see if it was a tip out. Again, everybody frozen in their tracks, waiting to see what happens here. Both officials at the scorer's table now. They're just waiting for what appears to be final confirmation here. Hungarians now out of the water, and it appears Again, hard to say with certainty now. It looks like we have a final score in this one. Officials taking their whistles off. And so Team USA, it appears, has secured the 14-13 win. Wasn't sure if we'd get a review on that last look at Hungary on offense. A potential tip out was what they were looking for. And you understand, if you're hungry and you had the bronze medal taken away from you, you're surely going to request that video evidence is produced to make sure that there wasn't a tip out when it affected your team negatively. Sure, I mean, we got to get it right. We talk about what it takes to get it right. That's why they have the, VA, the VAR, the VAR system we keep referring to. And again, Greg, had they used that properly potentially before, right? Had they caught that, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. So if it's there, use it, let's get it right. Looks like they're huddling around the video board right now. So in the meantime, they're setting up for a medal ceremony here. As we know, Spain won gold, Italy silver. That is not in doubt. And just waiting for final confirmation. You have Vince Vigvati of Hungary. He is standing right at the scores table, yeah. looking for answers. Keeper 
Selma Vogel looking to talk with staff as well. As it stands now, it's a 14-13 victory. And based off the way Vogel just drop kicked a ball into the water, I'm guessing he's received his answer that this is a final score. And I'm wondering too if the video evidence showed that it indeed was a field block. And if it indeed was a field block, then again, justice served. They got it right and would have been a turnover anyway. So you're, what you're looking for is confirmation that it was right. Well, that gets sorted out. We look at our final numbers here for Team USA. Max Irving, what a day. Four goals for Irving, yep. three for Hannes Dobe, two for Johnny Hooper, two for Luca Capito, Adrian Weinberg, five saves for Hungary. Three goals for Dennis Varga. He got them started early. And then two apiece for Jancic, Fekete, Zelanki, and Big Body. Soma Vogel with eight saves in cage. Yeah, and look, we talked about this earlier. We said the uh, the American slang of, you know, ball don't lie. Got the ball to Halleck. He made a huge play. Yeah. Americans had a great possession. So, you know, they took that lead in that game, scored the penalty by Irving. There's no question or doubt that the game should have been replayed from that moment on. So once that was happening, as you get a look, as uh, TWC and chairman Tomas Molnar, right, with his eyes right on that screen. So and I get the frustration. Know. Yeah. The, the optics of it, right? Yeah. It's it's a U.S. game in a U.S. pool. Sure. And suddenly we're going to have to replay yeah. the final few minutes. Yeah. I don't understand the frustration there. Honestly, you look at the data, you look at what transpired. Right. That was as clear as it gets that there that was a correctable error that they had a chance to correct. Now the unfortunate thing is it didn't happen in real time. Right. Had it happened in real time, I don't think anyone complains. No. You go back to that point in time, it's pretty cut and dry. The challenging part if you're a Hungarian fan is that you watch them celebrate what they believe to be as a bronze medal and then yeah. after the fact have to come back and do this mm -hmm. and now it doesn't go your way. Right. And see so still a conversation here as they're looking at the video review. And one appeal could be get another, right? We sure. saw it at the end of the initial bronze medal match, so it's certainly possible that's what's transpiring here. Although it seems as if now the Hungarian staff has dispersed. Yeah, and again, what it, what is the answer, right? And that's what they're looking for is the Controversy get cleared up real quick when you look at the at the video footage to see what went down. In the meantime, I want to give a big thanks to everyone who joined us throughout the weekend. Appreciate everyone tuning in over the course of last weekend yeah. in Long Beach. A great three days of women's water polo, and then this weekend as well. So medal ceremony, presumably forthcoming. Again, as, as we've been told, as of now, this match is complete. Team USA wins at 14-13, but we still have a large crowd around the video review station. And it looks great, it's just inconclusive, right? So they're having a hard time, right? Which that happens as well. As, yes. as you think about other sports that have review as something was called you have to have yes. conclusive evidence to make a different decision right so it should unless the video shows a clear difference then the call in the pool would stand
Well, now the group has dispersed from in front of the VAR, so I think we have our answer. Do we, though? <clears throat> well, we will pause and presumably come back with a medal ceremony here. Keep in mind, I don't believe we heard a player of the match for that contest. That was typically what occurs post-game. Yeah. So that may still be getting sorted out. Well, so there's your answer. Teams are entering now for the medal ceremony. So it's a final. Team USA, 14 hungry, 13. There seemed to be some conversation around the VAR review about what might transpire. But as you see here, you've got teams starting to, to get dressed and prepare to receive their medals. And so it'll go like this. Spain, gold, Italy, silver, and Team <laughs> USA, bronze. Yeah. So, so it seems, Greg, and you know, again, a little bit of an anticlimactic finish, right? A little awkward finish here for the uh, uh, for the for the World Cup. As you see, Spain dominate in that gold medal game. That was unexpected. Unexpected to see this little replay that we had here, but we do know the game should have been replayed at that time. That was the right thing to do. To do big saves from Adrian Weinberg, big goal from Ben Halleck, and that gets. Team USA, the bronze medals. We get a look into the silver medalist Italy team debriefing after their gold medal match. Yeah, great weekend of water polo, all leading up to the world championships coming up in a couple of weeks in Japan. Also, for our local fans here, Team USA, they're back in the pool this Saturday. They'll welcome Croatia. That's going to be a final tune up for those squads ahead of the world championships. That's out at Mount San Antonio College in Walnut, California. So, if you enjoyed watching, High level water polo all weekend long. Another key matchup coming next Saturday. Team USA and Croatia. As we await the medal ceremony here. So teams getting together. Medals to come. Presumably we'll hear from the player of the match for Team USA. But with that, we can step aside for now. So a fun weekend. John, always good to be with you here. Thanks for joining us all weekend long. And uh, thanks, of course, to Tony Azevedo, Josh Samuels for pitching in as well. But uh, great to, to have a chance to be poolside here, as you said, uh, during the night, to be poolside for uh, eight of the best teams in the world. Yeah, no, my pleasure, Greg. It's always always uh, a good time to celebrate 10 years of doing this together over the, over <laughs> the years and getting these opportunities. It's so much fun. Uh, it really is a, is a treat to watch some of the best athletes in the world, the, the best, best teams in the world consistently you know, compete here um, and getting to, to watch some great coaches and tacticians. And we've seen so much over the years. And this weekend was no uh, no exception. So with that, we will say farewell and good evening. Just 10 minutes to midnight if you're on the East Coast still watching. Medal ceremonies to come. It's much later than that elsewhere in the world. In the meantime, medal ceremonies to come are top award winners and much more. So stick around. We'll have all the coverage for you right here live. But for now, John Abdi, Greg Mesko saying thanks for joining us. And your award ceremonies are on tap here as the World Aquatics Men's World Cup comes to a close.